Hello, my beautiful gamers, wizards, witches, and muggles. It's me, Siren, and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, in the previous episode, we did a few questing with our dear Ravenclaw friend, Amit. And I must say, it was rather fun hanging out with him instead of, you know, our usual group. It was a nice change of pace. Now, before we get started, however, I have a little bit of a story time, but I leave timestamps if you guys aren't interested and want to skip it, but also I will make it short. <laughs> so random information, I doubt any of you would have noticed because it is not really visible on camera. Well, you can kind of see from that angle, my cheek is a bit swollen. Now, I'm wearing makeup, as you can see, and a foundation and things like that, but underneath all of this, I'm rocking a purple eye <laughs> because my dog actually accidentally headbutted me. Um, so yeah, his head collided with the side of my face. So I'm rather blue and swollen here. Um, and again, the fact that I'm wearing glasses also makes it less visible. And it's a lot better now. <laughs> I just wanted to share. I thought it was rather funny that I, I, I have a blue eye because my dog gave me a headbutt. Anyway, <laughs> let's game. Okay, everyone, we are starting today's video in Hogsmeade. And last time I was here, I complained because I said, why isn't there any Christmas decorations? Well, or I was completely blind and missed them, or there are now Christmas decorations. This is the best thing ever. Like, I absolutely love Christmas. Like, I don't know why, since I was a child, even now that I am an adult, allegedly, <laughs> I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. It's just so cozy and it brings everyone together and everyone is in a, on holiday at the same time. I just, I just love it, man. And like all the food and the family time and seeing friends. It's just so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. Wow. You know, um, yeah, we're gonna go talk to Poppy. I do have a few quests in Hogsmeade, that's why we're here. I just thought we would take a nice little stroll considering how gorgeous it is. And they added Christmas decoration. Hi, Kitty! You're in Hogsmeade, but you know what? You can still be a professor hiding here in Hogsmeade. That would be hilarious. One of you guys suggested that it would be funny if the teachers or one of them is actually Animagus. But honestly, I would love that. I feel like that would be hilarious. Oh Hi! God, forget. I, I didn't forget, or are you talking to someone else? I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. I hope she's only busy with her research and nothing's wrong. What was your grand sending to you? What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. Hmm. Sorry, <laughs> what's your grand researching? What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Guys, also, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to complain, but... <laughs> if I make certain facial expressions, it actually hurts quite a lot because he got me in the corner of my eye. It's painful. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Ooh, well done, Poppy. How do you track a dragon's flight? How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Oh, of course. Well done. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. I love the song that was playing. I love it. I don't know. It's kind of creepy, but Here also pirating. I do think this is where we'll find her. 
the terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds simple enough. That seems dangerous. It is dangerous, but there is a sort of simplicity to it, I would say. That sounds straightforward enough. We mm. should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Why not keep the egg? Well... It's not the right thing. Well, I understand if you want to keep it to keep it safe. But it does feel kind of sad keeping her egg. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Where precisely are we taking the egg? If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Ah, oh, of course. Let's find our dragon. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, I'm not trying to agitate a dragon, Poppy. Oh, it's so pretty. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. But she's all beaten and broken. I hate that her wings are like, there's little holes in them and it's just so sad. But at least she's safe. This is a very pretty area. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, hi. I mean no harm. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Okay, I thought she saw us. Blood? <gasps> There's blood. Oh, she probably ate a few poachers. Served them, right? Just don't eat me. I come bearing <sighs> gifts. What is worth? She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Oh, oh. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. This is a beautiful area. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't particularly like harming the wolves. I know they have... But they're dark mongrels. Like... Does that mean they're goblin? Avelia. Made or something? I wonder how many they brought to capture her. <sighs> At least ten, usually. But you us to tell us. <laughs> Why was that kind of funny? Look, look. <laughs> Avelia. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you're under some kind of spell, but... I did what I had to do. I would like to believe I only stun the wolves, but I kill the poachers. Okay. What is that body? Can I examine you? Yes. Where are you? Thought you were joining us in Borneo? I don't know. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulus, the, the spideys. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo's <laughs> not half bad to look at. Okay, I, I don't know, guys. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps? It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Sure, we can call it charming. <laughs> Was rather unexpected. Ah. 
One of those few there moments I again. need repair of. She's breathtaking. From a distance. We saw her close by, to be fair. She is quite gorgeous. Hello? Oh, whoops. I equipped the same spell in my spell diamond. Repero. Fantastic. Oh! Oh! I was standing on one of the planks. That could have gone bad. Imagine it booped me off of the map completely. Okay. Do I need to be invisible? Oops. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridean's love How lucky for us. Why would you say that, Poppy? Why would you give me that image? I should be wearing white. For this. She can see me so clearly. Well, I can go stand against the Watch wall. Watch your step. And then I'm invisible, you know? Or I can just go <laughs> invisible. <laughs> Yeah, careful, Poppy. It may be a bit slippery and it's a bit high. Poppy? Come on. There you go. Okay, you jump oh. like a normal person. Not like Sebastian, Pity. he just bugs she must up. must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. I would like to believe she was starving. It was a necessity and not just malintent. Oh, quiet. What was that? That soldier is a dragon. Did anyone play Guild Wars? There she goes. That was fun. Poppy, you good? Watch out! It's yeah. her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Oh, we do know it. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Oh, I could have gone for the door, actually. A warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Kids got a point. I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. <sighs> I normally try, but we're well past that. Yeah, we've made it this far. Just risk it. Oh. Okay, I did actually take a hit. My character wasn't properly crouched. Poppy, I'm doing my best. I'm trying not to be crispy. There's the nest. We're almost there. Yeah. So close, Poppy. Let's go, let's go. Why is every bridge here broken? Repero. <laughs> Probably because a dragon swooped through it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. I hope I get a little cutscene. Am I just gonna place it? Oh, okay, okay, okay.
guys go keep it safe. Oh. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. That was absolutely amazing. She tried to kill us. Yeah, but she didn't know any better. People don't give creatures enough credit. No, they really don't. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Oh, Puppy, that is not the case. Not at all, but I'm ready to head back. I'm not ready to leave. Oh, is there a reason I would want to stay and explore a bit longer? I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. Since I, I have the option. she lived here, or where she'll go now. Revelio. Oh, it would have been nice if there was something special here somewhere. I don't, like I said, know if there is entirely a reason for me to stay longer. I don't believe so. Yeah, it's okay, Poppy, we can leave. Oh no, I screwed up, guys. She's gonna run all the way around. Revelio. <laughs> Guys, I've been playing the Sea of Thieves lately. Now, every time I see a barrel, I'm like, <gasps> can I loot it? But <laughs> I can't. Um, Puffy, let's go. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. Um, no, I'm ready to go. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What if they took her grandma? Oh, hopefully they didn't take Gran. I would be so sad. How could I have been so blind? Quest complete. <laughs> Perch <day. laughs> No! Oh! <laughs> oh, laughing hurts my face. But... Oh, these quest names are absolutely amazing. I love them. <laughs> Rebellion. No, um, next I have to go to that broom guy. Um. Let me just check my map. I have no idea where he is. Okay, I found him. Oh, puppy, hi! Enjoying Hogsmeade? It looks great with all the decorations, don't you think? That was such a fun mission. I really hope your grand's okay, and I feel like you have to move a bit faster considering the severity of the situation, but... See you later! Hi! Hello again! Wonderful to see you! As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Thanks! What are we looking for today? Okay, what does this do? Um, increases your broom's acceleration and speed. Thank you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I hope so. Do you have a quest for me, or did you only want me to buy? You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. 
Sure. They don't scare me. It's fine. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. Cool, I'll do it immediately. I look forward to our next meeting. The sky's the limit. Speak with Imelda. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Perhaps, or I could just teleport to my destination. Because why not? Yeah, that's so far away. I'm teleporting. Screw testing it now. I'll test it when I race Imelda. Oh, I have a little quest right outside. Oh, it's Natty. Okay, we can do that after. Um, what? Whoa, 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 I didn't even realize the map goes this far. Okay, so I am going to test my upgrade, it would seem. <laughs> Guys, we have a while to fly. I should have story timed on the way. Okay, here we are. Ready to take flight. We shall use our broom since it is upgraded, although I would have liked using one of my majestic mounts. I must say, I know I've mentioned this before and we've chatted about it in the comments a bit. Oh, shoot. Wait, let me check which direction I should be heading. This way. I might just roughly follow the road because this is a bit confusing. Um, but yeah, I was saying, I kind of... I wouldn't say I like Imelda, but I feel like at this point I understand her a bit better. Um, she can treat people better, yes. I, I hate how she treats people. But I understand where she's coming from, considering she is very, very, very ambitious. And strong-minded and strong-willed. And I don't feel like a lot of people actually challenge her. They get offended by her and then kind of start arguments with her instead of challenging her mentally and like her abilities so i feel like to some extent i can get along with her if we just start to understand each other a bit better she can maybe calm down and i can give her a challenge you know to give her something to think about and something other to obsess about <laughs> but that's just my opinion like i said i don't think how she acts is justified but I, I do feel like I understand her to some extent. I should have gotten a few of those little... Bevelio. Teleporters along the way. I'm not seeing any. Huh. Oh, and I'm gonna hit the invisible wall again. Oh, shoot. Okay, guys. Wait, I'm lost again. Let me check the map. Oh, I went the complete wrong direction. How do I get there? There's a, a nasal den here. I actually think I'm gonna go check that out. Get a bit distracted. <clears throat> because I've been wanting nasals Rebellion. for quite a while now. I ate the broom. Why can't I look down? Where's the nasal? Oh, it's right below me. Um, I don't want to land too close to it in case it gets scared and runs away. Put on my little knapsack. <laughs> um, I want to try something. Arrest the momentum. Oh, isn't this gonna keep them in the air longer? Yep, guys. Thanks for that tip. So much better. So much better. I'll look after you. Because if you use this, Leviosa. eventually they stood, they drop down and start running. Yeah. You can still catch them fine. Revelio. But I feel like Arrest of Momentum secures the catch. Is there more of you? What's that little blue? <sighs> oh no, it's a Merlin trial. I shan't. Oh. Did I catch all of them? There were only two little needles and they were like living here. That's horrible. There's another. I'll go catch him. This area looks strangely swamp like. I thought the needles would like a more foresty area. Oh, 
Okay. Everything's all right now. I was planning on putting my diesel in my foresty area, but now I am actually considering the swamp. But I don't want to do that because then the swamp is going to become my absolute favorite biome. And I don't, I don't want to have favorites, although I already have favorites because the it has the moon calves and the thestrals. If I put the measles there, it's going to be my favorite for sure. How do I get there? Can I not reach that area yet? Or can I just not fly there with my broom? Yes, you can't enter here while mounted. Okay, well... How do I enter here then? I can't enter here at all. How how do I get it? How do I get there? Do I actually have to go through? Yeah, okay. Revelio. Okay, guys. We're in for a fight. Let's go through here. Let's see what we can do. Firstly, I want to test this. I don't even feel bad. I don't feel bad one bit. I'll help you out, buddy. No, you can't see me. Oh, no! Backfired! My plan backfired. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. I wonder. I sh if I start with an invisibility potion, then I can chill and drink my potions. No, I can't. Let me make you cabbage lovers proud by using a few of my own. Are you still mine? Start attacking me now. Fancy yourself? That's the stupid <laughs> Oh, shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to be funny. My potions ran out, can't you see? Um... Complaining. Wow, now it's so quiet. Nice. Revelio. Shall I attempt and go south? 
for a bit. Merlin trial. Oh, it's the one where you just break the little things. I might actually activate it. Oh, I, I was hoping that would work and get both of them. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's stop with the stealth quickly. I just want to activate the trial. Climb! You can climb higher things than the... My gosh! Huh. 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 Revelio. I am stealthy. Oh. <laughs> How nice of you to stop by. <laughs> Arresto momentum. Incendio Ortega. Uh. Uh. Accio. I am not so Rock has fooled you all. <clears throat> you to my Merlin trial? Oh, up there. Hey, Bun Bun! Could it be a Merlin trial? Oh, could it be? Whoever would have thought. Okay. Revelio. Oh. Box, I didn't see you earlier. This is a rather big area. And I haven't cleared one of these in quite some time, so it, it's kind of fun. Um, you. That's that. Oh, no. Settled. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't have to see it, game. Onwards, we go, we go. I'm long for a bacon and mushroom stew. Pavelio. Bacon and mushroom stew does not sound bad. Boop. Would you book us to tell us? Yeah, like, I'm not a big meat eater, but honestly, give me bacon any day. <laughs> doing this sort of thing forever though fancy i'll have my own operation worked out one day people working for me kind of cute well if you want to be your own boss you should be your own boss i see you are working for ryan what got you okay i can't get this i get the point i i, I get it Sprint. Sprint, my dear character. Stay in the middle. Would you to tell us? Well, I wouldn't do that then. Ah. <laughs> Don't know if that's gonna keep me hidden, so let me go this side. <laughs> Oh, oops. Backfired. Someone out there? Now both of them are gonna come to me. If I do it fast enough, I might get both. Nope, 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 nope. Not quiet enough. Why can't I hit you? Fine, it went okay. Wow, this is massive. I can go all the way around, or I can go this way. But this is so interesting. Um, you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu. Not gonna lie, it's nice to hear your voice considering Avelia. I'm in a goblin mine and. I don't entirely know what that entails for me, nor did I think the game had a little area like this. It's interesting that you have to go, like, through it and not over. Just be faster. 
Okay. I quickly want to check on the map if there's another... I don't know if we're going to hit that one on our way out as well. So I just want to check. Blow up a red barrel that was once an enemy. <laughs> uh. Oh, what am I doing? For better things than this so-called patrol. You know what? I'll do it. Not your best moment, I fear. It didn't count. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get that upgrade, but honestly. I decided to get it. Oh, I love those little dolls. They look like um, Lilo's little the doll she made for herself. Why? What did Professor Fig do? She been damn it. Hello? Hello? What you focus to tell us? Avelio. <laughs> yes, I feel like Wizard Kind will submit to us. The other teleportee is here? Is it? No, it's not. What is this? Avelio. I can go down? I am not going to do that. There is a scary skull there. I'm not gonna... No. Let's stay on course. Even though that is quite difficult for me to do. That student. I'll give them what they deserve. Is somebody there? Don't be like that. I deserve ice cream. And... Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. <laughs> A nice, cozy meal. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is the first thing that came to mind. Crossing along. Avelia. Oh! A field guide page! <laughs> An antique compass. Unfortunately, the fact that this antique muggle compass was dropped here means the muggle who dropped it is probably wandering through... Wales by now. Why? Why is he a muggle? Anything else for me? Oh. Break the boxes. Oh wow, an entirely new world. A whole new world. <laughs> There's a little teleporty back there as well, but I'm not gonna get it now. I'm gonna attempt and get these balloons. Balloons! Wee! Wee! Okay. Avelio. Let's see. This area has in store for us an evil camp. Here's a little footprint. Is it close I'd by? My own father if there were galleons in it. What's that? Land! Ahoy. I still don't know what that is. I can't really <laughs> see. Oh! Arrest the moment! No! No! It's black! I thought you can only get a black one if you have... Oh no, you don't. The rest of momentum does not necessarily work better. No! Don't leave me! I want you! Revelio. Trust me, I can keep you safe. Where'd you go? Well, at least I now know there's a griffin nest here. Um... I was bamboozled. 
When is it gonna come back? She's flying off. Oh, goodness me. No! Stop! Levioso. Okay, now I'm gonna Levioso you again. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Professor Howen will never believe this. Yeah, it's a black one. Maybe the DLC one is special. It's a different Pavelio. kind of black. Who knows? Oh, there's another another little nest. Oh, it's those little dodos. I'm sorry, I don't care much for you at the moment. I need to get to Imelda. Quite fast. Wow. This area is rather intriguing, though. <gasps> what animal do you guys think is up there? I guess I can check. Revelia. Oh, I'm gonna go have a quick look there. And then there. It's the little dodos again. Oh, I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I'm going to. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Moon coughs? No, birds. Okay, and then where was the other? Was it down here? <gasps> yes. Yes. I want more of you guys. I love you. Levioso. Why do you guys look like you're beach creatures? Well, not beach creatures. This is the second time I found them near water. There, there. Revelia. A different one. Levioso. I'm so happy. No, don't you dare. Levioso. Where'd you go? Okay. I'm happy with Settle my nasal collection. I mean you no harm. Onwards. That was a nice little detour. Okay. <gasps> There's another animal then. Am I gonna hit that before I get Imelda? I don't know. Also, I'm gonna quickly check my map. To see... There's not a lot of... Oh, I missed that little flu shrine, shrine thingy, whatever you call it. Imelda is so far off. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that one quickly. It is the closest to me. Then we can see the area a bit, and I know I have a little way shrine. And I mean, all these towns have quests for me. So I am hoping I get reason to come back here. Um, and the quests start branching out more now. To this area. Because, yeah, there's a lot of little towns here I still have to visit. But for now, I'm just gonna beeline for a Melda. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, the doggo is barking again. <laughs> Are we close yet? Come on. Revelia. Is there anything nice here? No, we're literally just. These rocks have seen better days. Going to Imelda. Oh, wow. There's one of those skeleton symbols again, and here I am! The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's alright. I'm over here! I can see that. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. 
evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually a thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. I won't be surprised. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm not. I'm bad at these. You guys know it. But let's see if I can get it by hook or by crook. Let's go. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose. Sure, Imelda. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. I mean, this is your only passion in life. Yo! Yo! Why did she stop sprinting? That wasn't too difficult. Foul play! My character stopped sprinting! <laughs> Shut up, I'm focused. Ah! Oh, I am so bad at this. Oh, there's a field guide page there. <laughs> if I get bonus points, I popped a balloon. Made it. Excellent. Oh, oh, ow. Harry Potter PlayStation games also had flying things similar to this. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. I was really bad at it. <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> How long is this still? Too difficult. Shush, don't say that. It's very hard. Ah! Oh, oh, I missed the ball. I had to go down underneath the little bridge. I didn't see that. Oh, oh, goodness. Brilliant. Oh, shoot. Oh, Ooh. oh. Help me. I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so this close. This is going well. No, it's not going well, you're lying. This is rather fun. I did it. Oh. I don't know what happened there at the end. It was, it was horrible. Imelda? I hope you that didn't see that. Something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Competitiveness runs in your family, I see. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running the courses? Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I <laughs> don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I don't. Any plans to play for a Quidditch team? I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. 
You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Hey, it's been fun. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. Aw, you're warming up to me, you I see. You take care of yourself. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Now I have to return to... I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Yes, I shall return to him immediately. I'm not gonna go get these little waypoint things. They're way too much, way too scattered. I will deal with them when I need to deal with them, which is not the best idea because then I'm gonna have to fly through that entire area again. But regardless, that is the choice that I am making. <laughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pim, 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 pim. Sorry. Hi. How's my favorite test flyer? I'm good. Can I get one of those trinkets on my broom? Hello. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then? The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! I am glad. What will you do from here? What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make Spintwitches the most sought-after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it! Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. Very exciting. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Thank you. You're upgrading my room for me. Couldn't have done this without you. Bye. The sky is the limit. Quest this is for Mr. complete. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a good team player? To some extent. You know what? That is such a lie. I am not a good team player. I know I've mentioned this before, but... Put me in a co-op online game and I am most likely going to cause your death. I don't know why. Where am I going? But yeah, I, I don't know why. I just... Even in games where you can't necessarily... Oops. Um, even in games where you technically can't kill your friends like friendly fire isn't a thing i would still manage to cause death to my teammates for example by like walking in front of them while they're casting something and then again friendly fire isn't a thing but you can harm yourself with your own abilities yeah i i i, I try okay <laughs> i don't know uh i would like to believe i'm a good team player are you ready to put an end to halo yes let's go I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Cool. Where can I find them? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What am I hoping to learn from them? What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Cool, I'll speak with them. Very well, I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. 
I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Okay, I will do. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. A basis for blackmail? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, guys, look at this field guide page I never saw. Hogsmeade, the only old wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite, well, favorite haunt for Hogwarts students, third years and up for centuries. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm doing a lot of i feel like important main story missions today it's quite fun usually i like incorporating a bit of side quests and things like that but i haven't encountered any unless i would have stopped before completing a Meldas quest but that's so far out we're making progress okay so which one of you are the closest revelio you are in... Are you in the three boomsticks? Yeah. Hey, Serena! Don't know where you are, but I'm here. Hi. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. I just feel like it's impolite coming in here and not greeting her. Oh, Isco. What have I done? What's wrong? You look quite cool. I love the coat. Like, I really love the coat. Mrs. Rabe... I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Wow. Why would Harlow take your husband and not to you? Because you would do something for someone you love, I guess, rather than for yourself. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Okay, I understand. I misunderstood that sentence. Now, have you given Harlow any information about Gringotts? Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Does the note confirm kidnapping? Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Thank you. We do hope you will reconsider helping us with our bank banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a reason by week's end? Uh, a response, whoops. <laughs> Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Yeah, and then hopefully we can go save her husband. That would be nice. Bye, Serona. Okay, that way. 
Well, Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. Yeah. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Hello, I haven't seen you before. You're new. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter Voldemort. enough to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Oh, that's so sad. I hate it when people come between people's love life. Like, just let them be. About the note. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. How are you hiding the extortion? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out Aww. of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Yes, but it's not your fault. You're put in this situation because someone else is allegedly unhappy about the relationship. Mr. Hills seems a fair man. Can you tell him? I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. I understand. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. No, I'll just go this way, little note. Okay. Open! Ah, it's this way. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hi! Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You should have spoken out. Maybe you were wise not to speak out. Uh, I mean, he is dangerous. But we can't just stay under this person's shadow forever. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. 
Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. It's fair that it didn't Harlow speak about him. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Yeah. Yeah, I get why people doesn't speak up. I mean, they are scared. Look at what happened to that. You have no snow on you. That is impressive. I'll give you a little trim too. There you go. Okay. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna help these people individually, like get back the book, find the husband, or if the authorities are actually gonna do something for a change. Oh, poor Natty. She's just at the outskirts of Hogsmeade. Well, I'm sure her mom can see when she leaves Hogwarts if she it's tries not like hard Natty enough. To be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. You're kidding me! I just came from Hogsmeat. Natty? Natty, I I'm swimming in cold water for- Oh, never <sighs> mind. Natty! I leapt, leaped, leapeth over cold water. Natty must be around here somewhere. For you. Um, I'm stuck. Uh, uh, Natty, I am now, in fact, swimming in ice water for you. Why did I think to take a shortcut? It's never shorter. Never. How do I get out? Oh my goodness. <laughs> never try and take the easy way out in life, guys. Because it's never easy. It's never faster. It's never better. But he's warned. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. Her wand is very pretty, I must say. Let me use my Witcher senses. Nosy little Velio. students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Shut up. I will curse Rebellion. you. Without a second thought, with no remorse. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Wait, I can't see. Where'd the footsteps go? Oh, in the cellar. Oh, great, it's an ash in your hideout. Uh, let's see how this goes. Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Revelio. Haha, <laughs> it's the Hufflepuff common room. <laughs> Hidden door. Revelio. This Natty one must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Didn't squirt vinegar on me. Poor Natty. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Yes, we are going to. Oh, yeah, they might harm Natty if we're seen. Find Natty. Optional. Find the book. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And find the love letter. I will do everything. Using that girl as bait. No one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. 
Yeah, she's a Gryffindor, you know. They don't always rationalize things. Not that I'm one to judge. Keep on your toes. Stay alert. Okay. We can stealth they this. I can't take that one down. I think she's too powerful. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hog's head. Or perhaps I'll just go. Avelia. Okay, then you go this way. Okay. Patrol. About the most exciting thing, Rex. Right? Oh, Mr. Dallas. <gasps> Expulso! Oh, crap. Somebody out there? You've made a great mistake. Guys, did you see that skill? I'm gonna try this again. I've heard quieter than you. I I had this theory and I know I've mentioned it before, but I was like, what happens when you drink an invisibility potion while invisible? It actually makes you invisible. Like you're properly invisible. How can I get that box? Like, I have a I have a thought. Oh, you're wearing a very nice cloak. I can essentially just sneak attack anything. Pavelia. If I just drink a bunch of them. Oh, I didn't get that box. Let me go back quickly. Oh, nice. It's a note. Okay, I have read your lost letter over and over, and I am certain to read it again. Each hour until we are able to meet... I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those who we love, especially my dear father. I do not w wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love. And I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within our <coughs> grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an ex has been a challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Oh. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Pavelio. Ah, there. Hey. Oh. Go. Walk. Oh my gosh. Akio. God, you live here. So. I'm so slow. Okay. Rebellion. Is that anything in this small little space? Oh, there's another one over there. I wonder if it leads to a box or if it's just a safe way of doing something. Oh, there, up there. Okay. Rebellion. Next. The girl's friend won't come looking for her. Dr. Lucas Totalis. Who's... Avelio. Boom! I want to find the 
book of poems. I'm pretty sure this just spins around to where I could have entered from. This is hilarious. That he must be here somewhere. Yes, but I want the optional things. Pavelio. <gasps> you found us. I knew you would realize Shut I have nothing I want for you. Over here. I need your help. Hi. Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Also, I'm quite sure Your the- Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. I'm quite Avelia. sure the wand I use is very catered towards its owner and it's very difficult for other people to use it. Oh, I can't talk to you, Natty, but it's okay. I'll come back for you. My wand is somewhere in this room. Mr. Abe's wand could be in there. Oh, lockpick! Yeah! Mr. Rape's said... wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Here you go. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. I think it was fine. Natty, you good? You're next. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We pleasure. owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. No. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very no, no, well. No. But be careful. Take Natty, take Natty. Thank you, my young friend. Oh, Natty! Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must be. Avelia. I still need to find the. Hush now. The journal. I wonder if it's in, if it's in that box. Avelia. How did I get mixed up in this? Doing Brooklyn's work for him. You're a pushover. That's how. You don't stand up for yourself. My gear is full. I just sold half half of everything I had. Pavelia. Before doing this, give me a sec. Let me sell quick. Oh, not sell. Let me just destroy some random things. Okay. I really want to find the book. It should be in a box like the other. Oh, maybe it's in there. Please be in here. They got what they deserved. Oh. This one. Yes! I think. You are as dear to me as in... I'm not... I... No. Book of poems no. that was taken from Agabus <laughs> Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Okay, we have everything. Um... Do I need to stealth? I did... Revelia. Get rid of most of these. Repero. That was not what I intended to do. Lumos. Lumos. I just actually wanted to see for a change. Yeah, see, we're fine. We're out. No problem. Didn't even need to stealth. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow one- Once and for all. Sorry.
I didn't realize it was going to interrupt her. Oh, hi, officer. We were kidnapped. Um, because you don't do your job. Not I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. No thanks to you. I had to do everything on my own. She had to get... Natty had to get kidnapped. Like, come on, people. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. But you see, the authorities doesn't do anything. They don't handle the Ash Ashwinders. Understood. Yeah, the authorities haven't been much help. No, they haven't. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Oh, now, I didn't say that I'm going to leave You may wish this to long. speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, quest complete. Basis for blackmail. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by spin witches when you can. Will do. I know what we're doing is dangerous, but at least we're doing something. And I guess it's difficult for her because she has to follow certain principles to abide by the law, where we don't really have to do that. Do I have any other myth? The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Good luck, really good luck. I hope it works out for you guys. Any more mail? I wonder how long it's gonna take to hear from Sebastian again, because he's still mad at us. <laughs> it's funny. He's really like a typical little boy sometimes being mad. I do believe this is all we have for Hogsmeade, or well, for mail currently. Okay, here we are. It's that time of the episode again. We are at the room of requirements to collect all our things and check on our little babies. Because we do currently have a baby, moon cough, thestral, and depending on how fast the, the breeding process go, maybe potentially a baby frog. Oh, I'm still full on those. Okay. No, no. Well, I might as well... Make a few of these, make that, beautiful, get my invisibility potion, get my other invisibility potion. Oh, can't claim that one, and can't claim that one, man. It's okay, we will use them at some point. I also have gear I can identify for a change. Noise, nothing really worth it, but it's fine. Now, let me go take a look at my beasties. Because I do finally have um, kitties that I can place. Where are you guys? Hi! I also quickly want to check. I caught a... Yeah, a hippogriff, a black one. Huh. I guess your name, that makes you special. And I can actually use you as a mount. Uh, I would like to put you guys here, but I can't. I'm full. It's a sad. I don't want to be full in this area. Oh, and I know um, that I actually 
So, um, you guys said, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say, thank you so much for all you guys that did the effort to give me a list of your vivariums and what animals you put where. I really enjoyed reading that. But yeah, you get a mountain vivarium that I actually didn't know about. I thought you only get three. Hi! I thought you wanted brushies. Is that not why you came to me? They do come to you when they need brushies. I absolutely adore it. Um, you are going to go eat. You still need a brush. Oh, you're eating too. Let me see. You still need levies. You still need food and levies. You guys are making it difficult for me. You. Yeah. Enjoy the brushies. Oh, I so badly want to make baby nifflers. But then I have to remove one of my animals that I currently have. Because one of you said you love baby nifflers. The most. And I really want to see. I feel like I'm missing out. Maybe for now I can take out a puff skin because I have four puff skin. Uh, I technically have three of you as well. Um, can you breed with one of the named ones? Because then I can remove you for now. I feel so bad for doing this. I'll look after you. But if I remove you, can I make a baby a baby niffler? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hope you enjoy your stay. I'll see you in a bit. Or whenever. Okay. I can't wait to see how that looks. Next. Oh, I got so distracted. I forgot I, I could have placed my... Um, I always forget their names. The kitties. The... N -n 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 Something with an N. I don't feel like... Cats usually like water, but granted, aren't they technically rodents? Oh, <gasps> look at my baby frog! <laughs> He's so small. But I did consider placing some of them here. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Yeah. It's strange when these students give you notes because i like when it's kind of all at once but like why did that one trigger did i just have to do a few other things and like spend some time doing i, I don't know i don't know you still need to eat you still need brushes you guys are good okay is there anything i can breed with here that i would actually want to breed with, no offense. Um, <laughs> if I'm being fully honest, not really. Well, enjoy your stay, gang. I have the bowl for you. I have to really, whoops, whoops, start putting these boxes the other way around. I know some of them still have to eat, so I technically didn't collect all the things, but I think it's fine for now. Let's go check up on our babies in the spooky biome i wonder if they're big yet they take quite long to grow i like it i must say hi hi you guys gonna go food oh you're still small the two babies are together <laughs> i love you so i'm not sure like i said if the cats would like it here but for now, I'm going to put the measles here. Reason being... Um, I don't really know where else I would put them. And I did find some of them in swampy areas and some of them close to water. So this might be a good place for them. <laughs> hey, babies. Oh, I love you. Ah. So sweet. 
Oh, foods. Okay. Oh, thank you. Most of you are happy. I love how they surround me. <laughs> oh, I keep brushing them when they don't need brushes. And that interrupts them from eating, so I probably shouldn't do that. <gasps> you guys are so big. I want baby... I want baby... You guys. Um, oh, but I can't currently. Um, if you... If, if you grow up... I might sell you so that I can make baby... What's your name again? Measles! Ugh, this fool. There you go, guys. You can play! Okay! Are all of you guys happy? Yeah! All of the babies are playing, they're having a good time. <laughs> so I think this is a good place. To leave off today's episode. Okay, everyone. On that note, I will be ending today's episode right here. <laughs> you could kind of still hear the beasts in the background. But I don't mind. I just absolutely love the music in this vivarium. I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. It was quite eventful, actually. I feel like I did a lot of main story-related things. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And then, once again, I want to give a very special and big thank you for all of the support I get from you guys on my videos and for all the comments you leave, I love reading them and seeing your games and how you play with me side by side and hearing all your different opinions and viewpoints. I just absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for helping me grow my channel and being part of my little online fa family. Like I said, I cannot express to you how much I appreciate it. It really means the world to me. So yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next magical adventure. <laughs> Have a lovely day.